follow with is making me crave Starbucks. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed this cranberry vampy fall look. Um, I did just film, finish filming how I dye my hair, so if I look the same, that's why. Um, well, actually I filmed myself getting ready to finish filming that video, but you get what I'm saying. So anyway, um, this, this look was really easy. I used all Makeup Week shadows, which are super, super, super good quality and also extremely affordable. Um, so yeah, I hope that you enjoy this video and learn something new. Uh, if you have any requests or anything like that, please leave them in the comments down below and I will try to get to them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Okay, so as always, we are going to start out by priming our eyelids with some concealer or whatever you have to prime works. I mean, I just use concealer. Okay, now I'm going in with some tape just to define our edges and then I'm taking Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie as my transition shade. I absolutely love, love, love this shade. I mean, if you can not tell, I hit pan. It's just the perfect peachy shade just to really bring warmth, a really subtle warmth to the eyes. I'm going in with my Aveda contour, eye contour brush, which is essentially just a, a blending brush. Now I'm going in with Bitten. This is also a Makeup Geek shadow. Um, it's, it's like a dark cranberry, a really warm... Actually, this the shade is really versatile to me because I feel like it can be used in both warm and cool tone looks. Um, yeah, this, this is a really unique shadow for me. So I'm just um, putting this right over where we put Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie. And uh, yeah, I'm just blending this out. Now I'm taking Mocha. So I was actually going to start out by trying to do like a little cut crease kind of thing, but I didn't even end up doing that. So really I just used this, I ended up using this shade just to define, uh, I guess, the outer V of my lid. You'll see, I'm going to go in with another brush, I, uh, a Delium 781 brush, I think it is. Um, with more Mocha on it and I'm just going to really blend and uh, blow that out. It's just really going to intensify the look and give it a more gradient effect. Oh, I guess I took a Sigma pencil brush. But here I am just uh, intensifying the color and also blending it out, making it more of a gradient effect. Now I'm taking Cinderella on a flat shader brush. This is a synthetic brush. Um, I originally was just putting it on normally and then I wanted to intensify and make it look more metallic. So I sprayed my brush with Fix Plus and you can just see how more intensified it looks after I sprayed it. Now I'm just going in with some more mocha just to really deepen up that crease. And as always, I just want to blend everything together, make everything look seamless. Now I'm 
Now I'm taking vanilla bean and I am just going to use this to highlight my brow bone. This is just going to help open up the eye a bit. Then I'm just going in with uh, 3,000 layers of Better Than Sex mascara and popping on some falsies. These are the Skeeto Lashes and Lash Lorette, and I didn't get a uh, product shop, but I absolutely love these lashes. I have been abusing them. Okay, so from the BH Cosmetics Camouflage Palette, I took uh, this a really dark salmon color and and the lightest concealer shade and I just mix the two and I'm just uh, concealing any darkness under my eyes. So any orange or salmon colored concealer will work just fine for this. Now I'm going in with L'Oreal Infallible Pro Mag or whatever it's called. <laughs> this is actually my first time using this foundation. Um, I finally broke down and bought it. I don't like to buy things when like they're so talked about because I just feel like I don't know. I just feel like it's gimmicky. I don't. I, I don't know if that makes sense. So anyway, I just let it the the fad or whatever it is die down, and then I try it out. But I actually really, really, really enjoyed this foundation, and it was really inexpensive. Now I'm just going in with some concealer. This is my Mac Pro Longwear concealer. I'm running low. Need to restock. Honestly, you guys, baking is like, I guess it's like a new trend, but I don't think I'll ever go back to not baking my makeup. It just makes it last so much longer and makes it look airbrushed. Like, I, I don't think I'll ever not bake again. Now I'm just going with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I am using the first shade uh, just to contour my forehead, my cheekbones. Okay, wait. So I saw a comment somewhere on YouTube saying that even though strobing is a new trend, the United States will never stop contouring. Like, I am that person who will never, ever, ever stop contouring. I just love that you can transform your face without surgery. Now I'm taking Spellbound Makeup. This is also a Makeup Geek blush, and I am just popping this on. Now I'm taking Shimma Shimma and I'm using this to highlight my tear duct and also I'm going to use this as a subtle highlight. Now I'm taking a brown eyeliner. Um, I just stole this from my mom's room so any brown eyeliner you have will work. And I'm just lining my lower lash line and then going in with mocha and I'm going to throw that on my lower lash line as well. Just smoke that out a bit just to give it a more sultry look. For my lip, I used Dose of Color Stone. I tried so hard to stay in frame, but I couldn't. But this is the look, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it, and thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you're not already. Show it,